If you've been using iMovie to edit your videos and you're frustrated because it doesn't have a way of doing fine rotation of videos, in this video I'll show you how to use Keynote. iMovie can only rotate by 90 degrees as you can see here. What happens when your clip is off a few degrees? In this case, the camera was not perfectly horizontal when I filmed this clip in the Grand Canyon. Keynote is available on all Macs. There's no download from the internet necessary. You can just use the App Store. Go into Keynote and select a wide format with a blank presentation. Zoom out a bit so you can see the whole slide. Now import your video. I keep my videos in the Mac Photos app, which makes it easy to access. I just store the ones I'm working on in the favorites so that I can find them easily. Play the video to where the rotation is plainly visible so you can adjust it properly. Now select the Arrange tab. There you'll see the rotation controls. I like to use the spinner control, but you can also grab the handles at the corners and manually rotate the video. Sometimes I find it useful to have a horizontal or vertical line so that I can make sure that I, I'm dead on with having the video level when I'm all done. This is very easily done with Keynote. It's just a temporary graphics object. You delete it when you're all done. All right, in this case, it looks good, so I can go in and delete my guide. Now we're going to zoom out so we can see the edges where there's white space that's caused by the rotation of the video. Just drag out the corners to get rid of the white space. Okay, now File, and Export to QuickTime. You don't care about the Go to Next Slide because there's only one slide in the presentation, and select 1080p. Just save it as a file that makes it easy to remember and see which one that you've just created. I'm just putting it on my desktop. All right, there's our file on the desktop. Bring Keynote back up with our project. Slide it out of the way so we can drag our new rotated video onto the timeline. And there we go. We're all set. Note that the top of the mesa, or in this case, the rim of the Grand Canyon, is now level. We're good to go. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe below if you found this video useful.